You guys ready for another video that I definitely didn't plan? Go out to downtown St. Louis and started driving around looking for the city museum. I didn't put it in the GPS because come on, how many buildings in this place are gonna have a bus and an airplane on the roof? I figured it would be pretty easy to find. That is, until I got distracted by something else. I saw this Ferris wheel off in the distance and thought, you know, I don't think I've ever been to Union Station. So here we are. I'm Kat, by the way. This is Inferior Adventure Channel. Thanks for joining me. Let's go see what's going on in there. Look at that, there's one black car. All the others are white. I bet that's how they keep track of the rotations. Oh wow, you guys. They even have a carousel in here. Complete with some unusual steeds. I love it when carousels do that. Oh hey, the eagle caught a fish. There we go, that's the one I would ride. Mini golf too. It doesn't appear to be open right now. I wonder if it's because it's Sunday or because I just got here a little bit early. Appropriate playground. Look at that, they even have trains at this train station. And seafood. You know, I never knew that Landry's was a chain just until a couple of years ago. I thought it was only a ransom thing. Pretty landscaping. I think they need a bigger koi palm though. Apparently those things can live 50 to 200 years. Hey, it is running. A lot taller than the one in Branson. I love looking at Ferris wheels, riding them on the other hand, a little bit scary. A lot scary. That would have been so cool to see this place as an actual train station. I had seen videos, but as with anything, it is different in real life. There we go, maybe a thumbnail picture? Not sure if I want to do the aquarium or not. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a good aquarium. But I go to the one in Springfield all the time. I kind of wanted this to be a different video, you know? Selfie Express. Interactive train selfie museum. That looks pretty cool. October 27th today. Happy Halloween, everyone. It's good to know it's not just Branson doing that anyway. Hey, there's an elf hiding up there on that sign. Well, I guess I'm not gonna go in today. $30, and if I'm gonna spend something like that, I'd rather do it at the city museum. I've been talking about that place for months. Dude, there's a ropes course up there. Pirates and pumpkins? Maybe I should go in. They definitely saw me coming. 21 lapel pins that I can choose from. Oh, one of them's a glow-in-the-dark jellyfish. Oh, that ropes course looks so fun. I need a GoPro to do something like that, though. I love a good mirror maze as it is, but this one is inspired by the 1904 World's Fair. That was in Forest Park, not too far from here. Changed my mind, I'm going in. Thinking about it, the city museum would be a lot more fun if I had someone else with me. There's all sorts of stuff to climb on in there. I do like their decorations. Oh hey, let's find out our pirate names. Oh, let me know yours in the comment. So for the first name, the month you were born. So mine would be Admiral. And the first letter of your first name. Apparently my name is now Admiral Peg Leg Pufferfish. At your service. Alrighty, I'm thinking I made the right choice. 
I could watch this penguin sailing all day. Clock Aquarium? Yeah, that's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Ooh, the ceiling changes. This is cool. We have a little train ride show before we go in. We start our journey on September 1st, 1894, when the first train departed Union Station. St. Louis was introduced to the world in 1904 when it hosted both the Olympics and the World's Fair. Oh, let's take a closer look. I've been tinkering with this whole train for a few weeks, and if I've got this right, hold on to your seat. Here we go. Pretty spectacular from up here. Wow! Wakeboarding train style. I see bass, catfish, walleye, bluegill, drumfish. What a thrill seeing them up close in the wild. Let's get you folks in the aquarium before they send a search party. Do me a favor. Keep this between us. Don't tell anyone about our little detour. I don't think anyone would believe us anyway. Just down the hall again to the right. Ooh, we made it to the secret cave. and piranhas together at last. These are archer fish and they shoot water at you. They can do it up to six feet and one of them just splashed me. Augmented reality sandboxes in one? That's cool. One of them's broken, but it's still cool. There's the top of that river otter exhibit that we saw a while ago. Apparently I didn't come at the right time for this, but they have training sessions that you can watch. You guys, what do fish take to stay healthy? Vitamin C. All the turtles in this habitat are female. Do be warned though, if you come here, this is a non-touch habitat. Unless you want to get bitten, of course. The stream water table. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a little water play area, got all sorts of contraptions. Is that filled with smoke? That is! That's so cool! There we go. Apparently I have a favorite starfish. I was today years old when I learned that. There's one called a bat star. So are these stinging jellyfish? If you are brine shrimp, you're in big trouble. Brine shrimp? I'm not sure. That's what they eat. They eat the 
a trip. So we try to take care of them, make sure that they don't get their, their stingers knocked off. Because that's what they need to do. They look so different without those lights, like they have at Wonders of Wildlife. Oh, dude, there's a blue lobster. His name is Lord Stanley, and I have never seen one of these in real life, and it is awesome. Appropriate decoration for his tank, too. It looks like he was donated in 2019, which was the first time that the Blues ever won the Stanley Cup. Hence the name Stanley. Species highlight, the tassel wobbagong. Wobbagong? Whatever it is, it's new to the aquarium. It's a carpet shark, it says. And then it's about four feet long. Well, let's go see if we can find one. They have all kinds of sharks here. And that black one has legs. I don't see that particular shark in the touch tank. Just some of these little brown guys. Bamboo sharks. But is that not the coolest starfish you guys have ever seen? Play area. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because there are some kids in it. Uh, but I did want to point out the light reflecting off of this jellyfish. That's the coolest thing. That's the natural sunlight. I like that little stripey guy. I don't know what it is, but I like him. Uh-oh, the ship's blowing smoke at us. What did I get myself into, you guys? aquatic pumpkins? And I like that idea. Hey, there he is. Still haven't seen one in real life, but there's this pumpkin. I love this one, almost an optical illusion. Kind of looks like it's coming out of the pumpkin rather than sunken in. Please do not climb on a shark. And there's a sentence I didn't think I'd say today. Still not seeing any tassel wobbagongs. How cool. Bioluminescence is a natural process where organisms create and emit light. They will even light up when you walk along the beach. Walk down the hallway to experience it yourself. I didn't know the puffer fish could get that big, you guys. He's so large, he's almost conical. Banana for scale. It's a little bit too dark to see it, but that's a jack-o'-lantern girlin' up there. Well, I guess that was it for the shark section. No tattered wobegons for us today. Something tells me it's cephalopod time. Okay, we'll be in a moment. I got distracted because they have an angler fish in here, you guys. Somewhere. Oh, wait, maybe they don't. It also says they have a giant squid. Okay, I see what it is. It's just projecting stuff back there. Imagine if they actually did have an angler fish.
making me feel a lot better seeing some other people over there by that creatures of the deep thing. And hearing them say, is that for real? I was not the only one fooled. And that was it, you guys, back in the gift shop. <laughs> You're an otter, Harry. That was that for the aquarium. I do think that I prefer Wonders of Wildlife. It's quite a bit bigger, a little bit more stuff. I do like the lighting in here a little bit better as far as being easier to film. And the location is completely amazing. So yeah, not my absolute favorite, but as far as aquariums go, that was pretty dang good. A lot better than the one in Branson, that's for sure. The soda fountain. Did I show that when I came in? I don't think I did. More trains down there. Some of the old tracks. Oh, that's so cool. You know, those chairs actually look pretty comfy for a Ferris wheel. Does not, of course, make it any less scary in my book. Anyway, that's going to do it for that one here at Union Station. Appreciate you guys coming along with me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Well, thank you to somebody, Voice of John Goodman. That was actually really cute.